And so, um, for instance, whether somebody, we would say, has more the Finnish dialect and saying, well, on the one hand and on the other hand. Well, this is a little bit uh, reduced. And so the both might be something <coughs> like that. Or whether you are a little bit more Hungarian. Hungarian, we would call a Sicilian variation. So on the one hand, this, and on the other hand, that. And if you now had both. And so usually I'm speaking a little bit foreign language, because living in Germany, it would be normal Hungarian language would not look normal. So I, I've uh, been risen as a child in Germany. So for me, it was very surprising when I came the first time to Hungary, suddenly everybody was normal. This is a sort of a strong thesis. And of course, it has to be confirmed by experience. When you have enough of these experiences, you will, of course, start, well, how come? How is that possible? And there are some things you could say about that. But this, again, is another topic that I will not expound too much now. But first, one would say one should see whether this phenomenon is there. And if it is there, there will be lots of questions that you could ask, is this subliminal perception? Is this prototypical uh, social judgment? Uh, it's the feeling is as if when you are successful, then there will be more separation. And this more separation, of course, is not a goal. So instead of going into one success, uh, you make things that you get not so successful. And these things you are, uh, someone, people are doing, um, are for them a little like nonsense. They cannot explain it, why they are doing it. But uh, in the um, context of loyalty, it makes sense <coughs> to um, be so or doing such things. Yeah? And so we have there a concept where something what uh, uh, looks as if it is silly, yeah? it looks uh, in a very different way when you look at, is, uh, at it uh, from a loyalty question. And so here in the ritual, we have four phases. We, and we work a lot on, you could say, the details of the ritual. So formally, we used mm -hmm. much more time. We had to repeat it three or four or five times sometimes. So uh, it's sometimes worthwhile to look at some of the details. So for instance, when we take a certain rhythm, usually the, retail, the ritual is more effective. So we have first a phase of going slowly here. Then you enter a zone that we call the zone of confluence. This is about half a meter to one and a half meters before that. In this uh, region, usually the eyes get a different expression. Often one has to be careful that there is not hyperventilation arising. Yes. And it may be in, at this point be um, difficult for the representative to go uh, further on uh, to make some more steps because maybe sometimes there's coming fear and something yeah. like that. But what we want to give is an experience. So we say, uh, breathe, good. Uh, let, let, uh, have a deep breath and then we use this uh, typical uh, first a hypnotherapeutic pacing by breathing ourselves, mm -hmm. then by allowing mm -hmm. the breath to become deeper mm -hmm at the same time making it a little bit more like as if the breath is carrying the movement. You go to this position and grab here. And now with this hand. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> what you just now experienced, this is called hand catalepsy. So the hand is not as immediately connected with the intention as it was before. It's a little, little less my. <laughs> In German, we could say, it's ein wenig, ein bisschen weniger meinig. Yeah? And so, uh, this hand now is useful as a symbol. And one just has to become used that you can bring it around like one can walk a dog. So instead of walk a dog, walk your hand. So you could stand up and go a little bit with the hand, and you will notice it follows. <laughs> Very obedient dog. And so, you know, people who own dogs often make acquaintance with each other by the dogs getting acquainted. So you can become acquainted by your hands becoming acquainted. And you see, one can, one can get used to that. And the, the hand just follows. It's quite, it becomes quite normal.